What is up everybody? Welcome back to my channel or if this is your first time watching then hello Welcome to my channel. If you're a regular, you know This isn't my usual normal look that I would be doing but if you are new Please make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell on for more videos like this if you are satisfied by this content Then why don't you just join the fam? Go on do it now. But as you can tell by the title, today we are going to be trying out a bunch of new in makeup revolution products. If you haven't been living under a rock or you didn't know, I actually have two palettes with makeup revolution. They are a brand that I love, you guys love associating me with. They produce such high quality products for such an affordable price, which is why I love doing these videos. I know this is probably why you guys love watching me do these videos because who doesn't want to save on a ton of money if um, you can get it for slightly less or uh, an equivalent product for uh, a fraction of the price. We have got a ton of new products here that I'm so excited for you to kind of see in action because as I was using them I was getting so excited. They come out with new products every week so obviously the ones that I've decided to include in this video are listed in the description bar down below but just make sure you check out their new in section anyway because there is a ton of new stuff and if it's anything like the stuff I've picked up in here you're gonna love it before I get any questions this top is from Fashion Nova I did kind of post it on my Instagram not that long ago if you don't follow me on there make sure that you do and speaking of which my next video is actually gonna be a try on my favorite kind of like clubbing outfits that make me feel super confident and sexy and they're super flattering and they're all from Fashion Nova as well so that's gonna be going up on Sunday so good little transition there because this top is also from there. That was just a little side note, let's get back to what we're actually here for, which is to see these Revolution products in action. I did this look, it was inspired by a picture that I saw on M -M -M Mitchell's Instagram, I'm sure you guys know who he is. He does so many like colourful, bright looks, I was kind of just like inspired of the way that he did it, the colours that he did, but obviously kind of did my own little thing on it, so if you're liking the look of this like... <sighs> It's like raspberry, strawberry, blown out goodness on my eyes and are excited to see what products that I am using. Then stay tuned and I feel like let's just jump right into it. Right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my skin first. I've got a few new skin products and I think I've got one of the shades wrong on the foundation but luckily I ordered two so Y'all won't come for me. To begin, I'm gonna prime my skin, and this is the new Revolution. I think this might be part of their skincare, I'm not sure. This is the Revolution Conceal and Define Blur Priming Serum. So it looks like this, and it's got that like milky consistency, which I do actually quite like in a primer. And it does say blur priming, so I haven't. <laughs> or I can have it facing the right way. Um, I have moisturized my skin, so I'm just gonna pop this on the top that's kind of what I would normally do and again this is kind of what I would normally do in terms of like application and as you guys know I love to apply my primer with a brush I'm just gonna go ahead and buff that in to the skin Ooh, it it goes on quite wet but then kind of sort of dries quite quick but in a really like smooth and silky way which Feels good on the skin, I won't lie to you. We're going to be doing the skin first because with the eye look it's going to be quite like buffed and blown out. Like I said it was inspired by that picture and makeup look from Mitchell and I watched his IGTV on it and he had already done the skin first. I think it's just kind of an easier way not to get it so like clean cut. It's going to be like buffed and smoked out which is what I love. Yeah it just feels really sort of like silky and smooth which I think with these blurring primers they create that little layer um, to give you like that perfecting blurred smooth silky base so we're all good to go on that one so far so good but now let's see how foundation performs on top of that so I'm going to be actually using the new makeup obsession quick stick base conceal and contour so I'm assuming that depending on the shades that you buy you can use this for concealer you can use this for cream contour but I am going to be using this for foundation I have been sort of re-falling in love Oh no wait, falling back in love with stick foundations. I've been loving the Hourglass one at the moment, so this is obviously a fraction of the price of that, so let's see if this is just as good. I've got the shade M04 and M07, but you can see M07, I did actually think this would be a good foundation shade, but it's looking a little bit dark on there, but I'm feeling maybe if I mix it together, I'll get a good tan shade, but I am just gonna start mailing with M04. 
Hmm. I think when I put this all over, it'll be a little bit light, just on its own. But I am just gonna kind of use this as my majority base colour, like so. And then just add a weenie bit of this kind of bit more tan colour, M07. Yeah. Oh, do you know what? M07 actually looked way darker in there than it does on the skin. I actually probably gotta use this all over, but I'm just, I'm not sure how like pigmented this is, but sometimes with stick foundations I feel like I always end up going in with a bit more. Lovely. I'm just gonna go with my disgusting looking, oh my goodness, look at the colour of that. Um, my beauty blender. And just to buff this. In. Sometimes I actually do like to use a brush first with stick foundations because then you kind of like can mix it all together um, And sometimes a brush I'm kind of just like pounding my face to get it to mix um, Like I said, especially if you're mixing shades, but let me just do this side first and kind of show you I'm loving that color like they're mixed together um Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. That's such a nice coverage. Obviously, you guys know I did kind of like proper put it on. And I think that's worked in my favour, especially then going in with a sponge. Oh, wow. Obviously, um, Makeup Revolution did have that um, fast base concealer as part of their Makeup Revolution. Sorry, fast base foundation stick as part of their... Makeup Revolution line, and this is obviously Makeup Obsession. Not really sure what the difference is between them. I did love that fast base foundation stick. Do you know, I think that was a bit more matte, and this you can see definitely has like a full coverage yet satin finish. Ooh, what have I gunk there? Love that. Blend into the skin. Right, so I've just blended that all into my skin. That looks beautiful. I'm not sure if the primer has something to play with that in the sense of just making my skin look flawless. I'm loving this sort of satin glowy finish. Um, that was really quick to sort of blend together. And you know what? The colours on that were a little bit deceiving because once they were on the skin, I'm sure you can agree, they really match my tan well. I thought that was going to be way too dark, but I'm so glad that I, um, I got them both. I'm pretty sure these are like £4 each. £4. And I've been spending like 32 Two quid on that hourglass stick. <gasps> attention, attention! We found a dupe. Love that. So now we can move on to concealer. And I do have to say, I have tried this already. And if you have tried the original one, then there's absolutely no doubt that you're going to love this one as well. This is their Conceal and Define Infinite Concealer. So they obviously just had the original one. I think they have just reformulated this one somehow to make it even better if you guys are og like tart shape tape lovers this is very very similar in the sense of the applicator and the coverage of it this is the shade 7.5 i'm just gonna pop this underneath i love this shade because it's like brightening but it's not too too bright it's just like the perfect amount and it just glides on full coverage. Obsessed, put a little bit on my forehead, on my chin chin chin. And again, just buff this, I will do one side again and buff that out. Oh my God, I love the way that this looks. Like, oh, that coverage, that color. Does that just not look? Flawless, if I do say so myself. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. Wow. I wasn't expecting to be disappointed, but I was not expecting to be this. Happy. Right, so that is all the sort of like creamy bases done. I can't stop looking at my skin in that viewfinder. I think this looks so good. The colour is like bang on what I like it to look like and um, I totally would have got one of those foundation sticks in a contour um, shade or the concealer in a contour shade but um, now I'm gonna go ahead and set this all in place with powder and then we can move on to brows which I've got some super exciting products that I know you guys were excited for me to try again from Makeup Obsession this is the Pure Bake Baking Powder in Lace you guys know I love the original baking powder in Lace from the main Revolution line so when I saw this I was thinking well one I know I already love the colour and two I wonder what the difference is so I'm going to be testing that out oh god it's got the lid on it I never know how to get these lids out right 
that was very very close oh is there not like an easier way to right okay i'm not really sure how this works the lid just kind of came off and now i'm just like left with the powder so i'm obviously just gonna take some and dab it a little bit off wish there was like the holes in it you know what i mean to make the dispensing of the product a little bit easier but let's go ahead and pop this underneath my eye i am basically gonna be setting my whole face with this but just kind of mainly focusing to start with all the places that i put the concealer buff 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 Ooh. i mean there's no instant difference in this powder than the original lace powder maybe they just decided to transition over because those baking powders from makeup revolution i have raved about them in the past so so good but the price point again i think they're like four or five pounds Maybe even less, but I don't think much more. But that is the base. Done for now. I am going to go ahead and now do my brows. We're not going to continue on with the face. I am going to do the eyes first and then the face. Let's move on to brows and try the product that you guys literally all asked me to use. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and use the Makeup Obsession Brow Goals Brow Pencil in Ash Brown. Now, I liked the look of this because it's like a very very slim sort of brow defining pencil which i normally just kind of use a regular the sort of like micro brow pencil but i thought i would give this one a go and the color looked really great as well like i said this is ash brown so i'm going to take the spoolie end and just brush brush through i could actually do with a little bit of plucking don't mind me hold on right Sorry about that. Go ahead and fill in my brows like I would usually do. Just little strokes. Quite like the fact that this is quite like a firm brow defining pencil. Like a lot of brow definers, and if I compare them to the Benefit one and the Anastasia Beverly Hills one, they're quite thick, which is why I, from those brands, use the micro brow pencil that they do. This is kind of like a brow definer and micro brow pencil in one. So I'm quite liking it because it's got that little slant that makes it easier to do the edges. Do you know what I mean? So like so, and then when we get to the front, we can feather it up. I love this colour. Zoom you in a little bit closer. Right, so once you're then happy with the shape, I probably will clean it up a little bit underneath with concealer. So I'm actually going to go ahead and do that now. Right, a little concealer just goes such a long way. But I feel like this is what you guys were already um, asking me to use and excited for me to use. This is the new Revolution Brow Soap. So it comes with like a little brush like this. And essentially, you know, the soap brow trend. This is going to act as sort of like a brow setter almost. But give you a bit more of like a feathered, textured, thicker looking brow. I know this is kind of maybe a slight dupe of the iconic London one that sort of was um which I have tried and I kind of really I don't know really loved the effect that it gave. So again let's try this. It does say you need to wet the brush but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna spray it you know with a little spray. All saturated give the brush a little um swirl around on the soap and then I guess you're just brushing up the hairs. Let's see. Oh Oh, okay. Oh. It's one of those things where you might need to go back in with your pencil afterwards, sort of if you've lifted the brow hairs and you can see there's places that you might not have actually laid product. I'm liking the way that sort of my brows look. It's like feathered. Do you like go across the top and tidy them? Or do you keep them feathered? I'm not really sure, but they definitely look and feel thicker. I mean, personally, maybe not for an everyday brow for me, but if you have naturally very thick brows, that's like a gorgeous product to just brush through, give them a bit of texture, set any sort of like product in place, Revolution did just come out with a lot of brow products and I have actually been really loving their clear, um, just clear brow gel at the moment. If you definitely want more of like a thicker, bushier looking brow, that soap brow, it's not bad. But I'm going to go ahead and do the other brow off camera. I am then also going to do the other eye off camera just because I know I want it to be blown out and I'm going to play around a little bit. So just to save myself a little bit of time, I'm going to sort of know what I'm doing first if that makes sense so be back in a tick with another brow and a um a bright pink eye of some sort right so i've gone ahead and done one 
eye. Oh my god, I love these colours. So the palette I'm using, I think it was like a Valentine's Day release, is the Kisses palette by Obsession if I open it up. Look at all these gorgeous berry tones and pink tones. I haven't done, I feel like, a pink sort of eye like this in a while. Got a little bit of liner going on, but no wings. Don't worry. But like I said, I was very inspired by a makeup look I saw Mitchell do on his Instagram. I would have inserted it at the beginning, but I'll insert it here now for you guys. You can see just a super blown out pink smoky eye. Obviously, he did like a love heart cut crease, but unfortunately, I don't feel like I'm that talented. So I just took a little bit of inspiration with this, especially just the way it's so blown out. I'm going to go ahead and start with the color Date Night, which is this beautiful wine color here. And just take it on a sort of thin defining fluffy brush and just sort of create the initial sort of like base slash crease literally like so we're not gonna worry about blending that out because we now are gonna blend it out with the shade pout which is this one here the slightly cooler toned pink just because i kind of wanted to stick with the purplier purplier like vibes i'm just gonna go ahead and use this shade to diffuse out that crease so you can see now we've got like a really diffused blend going on. I'm going to go back in with that date night shade and the same brush just to kind of reiterate that colour. We don't want to lose it. I love these kind of like berry wine tones. Then on a small little fluffy pencil brush, I'm going to take the shade All the Sass, which is the kind of like deepest tone in the palette. I do wish that they did have a, um, like a dark, warm toned brown, but I do also really like the way that it is all purples and berry tones and I'm just going to use that to further deepen up the crease. I am now going to pick up a bit of that date night shade on the fluffy brush and take it up on to kind of the outermost part of the lid. Once we have done that I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of concealer and carve out the crease ready for the shiny lid shade. Right so I've cut the crease out obviously you could do a love heart or any shape that you want if you are <laughs> the skillage but now we're just gonna have some fun and create the kind of gradient going across and to do that I'm gonna be taking the shade Butte in the middle of my lid and then this gorgeous dark pink shimmer called uh -huh, honey um kind of like connecting that in to the outer crease colors and then taking the shade flashlight in the innermost part of the eye so we're kind of going light to dark in like a beautiful pink ombre so like i said i am going to start with that butte that literal butte shade um and just pop that in the center it's like a gorgeous light rose gold and then going in with that dark pink shimmer the uh -huh honey shade and just use that right to uh diffuse like the crease and the lid shades together how beaut is that color Wow. And then taking that flashlight shade, which is literally just like a golden, a really pale gold champagne. Just take that up onto the innermost part to connect with the beaut shade. So we've really got like an ice cream, like a strawberry ice cream vibe. But what I am going to do is take my big fluffy brush and that pout shade, which was the like lightest pink um, that we had in the crease. And just kind of like buff around what's been going on. I really want to like blow this out. I am going to go ahead and take the medium fluffy brush that we were using date night on and take the shade Romance Ain't Dead, which is this bottom shade here. You can tell I'm really trying to like utilize all of the colors. I want you guys to get the most out of this palette sort of like so you can see um, and just take that underneath and connect it up that sort of vibe obviously when we like have the blush on and stuff that can sort of connect up a little bit more and it won't look sort of so messy but now what i am going to do is take the new revolution this is literally just a black liquid liner and just do a little line like so so i feel like that's the eyes complete i'm gonna go ahead and use the new revolution wispy lash mascara but that is just to kind of lightly coat the lashes as revolution now do eyelashes so the lashes I'm going to be using are the Revolution Wispy Lash Number no. 7 Fantasy. 
so they look a little bit like this so yeah like i said gonna go ahead and put mascara and the lashes on i'll be back to show you what the eyes sort of look like fully done so these are the eyes complete with lashes on i did go ahead and actually highlight my brow bone but now we can sort of continue on to the skin so like i said the eyes are done we can now start to continue on with the face we are going to start with this throw shade contour palette from obsession how gorgeous is this we've got a couple of like shimmery shades as well so you could also use them for highlight but i think to contour i'm going to be sort of using mainly these shades down here so but to begin i think i'm actually going to start with the shade fire which is this one and just take a sort of contour brush and use that in my cheekbones i am still taking that fire shade just around my forehead because it is really quite like a nice warm warm tone now i have actually taken a little bit of the shadow down the innermost part of my nose but as you guys know i do love a bit of a nose contour so i'm gonna take the shade respect which is this middle shade here just sort of continuing that down with the pink shadow but just sort of obviously being a bit more of a natural natural contour oh my god love that now in terms of the blusher like i said i was gonna just use the eyeshadow but i did get this blush as well and i think that sort of side is really gonna tie it all together um so this is the i Heart revolution inspiring matte blush so um, love the cute little love heart i'm gonna take my blusher shade i'm gonna kind of mainly focus on that pink this is a matte blush i think they did a few variations with this some being a bit more sort of shimmery and satin really gonna go quite ham sort of with the blush to really tie it all take it up onto the forehead most definitely sort of getting that like burnt look <laughs> like sunburnt sun kissed look to tie it all together you see how that sort of like blends and merges into like the eyeshadow like i said up onto the forehead like so oh my god i love the way that that looks take a little bit on my nose we're going really artsy and out of my comfort zone in this i'm loving it and to highlight there was actually a highlight shade in that contour palette but i got this this is the so lit highlighting palette oh my goodness look at all these shades of highlighters you've got like orange sort of more brown golden tones white i am gonna go in with this pinky tone shade called drama um to tie it all together instead of like my classic champagne gold that i would probably normally use pop that basically where you've put the blush oh yeah oh yeah oh i love it i literally love the way that this is looking right now and then just do my cupid's bow and they didn't have um that i saw any new lip liners so i'm just gonna go ahead and line my lips that i normally would and we are gonna do a nude because i feel like a lot is going on in the face and i had some really cute new nude products that i feel like are going to be incorporated into my everyday routine from now so i'm going to go ahead and line my lips and i'll be right back right so i've just gone ahead and line my lips with the nude and now i'm going to take the new matte lipstick in the shade oh got a bit of stuff on it um naked which is just a gorgeous matte nude color you guys know these are my jam I love this one. I love that just kind of on its own. But obviously, you can see the eye look is quite pink. So I kind of want to pink it up a little bit. And I was so excited to try these when I saw them. The new Pout Bomb Plumping Lip Gloss. If that's not a little bit of me, I don't know what is. This is in the shade Kiss. So it's slightly like pinkier. And I feel like it's just going to add a little bit of pink vibes. Kind of reminding me of like the Fenty Gloss Bomb. But this is Pout Bomb. And it's got like lip plumping qualities in it. So it's almost like a lip plumping version of the Fenty Gloss, which would be an absolute dream. Oh! I love this! And finally, to round up the look and just finish and set everything in place, guys, they, I think I found what I've been looking for this whole time. So, if you watch my channel and you're a regular, you know I use two products in like every makeup look to finish off my look. And I'll give you like two seconds to like say it to yourself and tell me what they are. 
I feel like you probably would have said it. I use the Revolution Hyaluronic Fix Spray always, and I use the Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Matte setting spray. I use them together. I use the Hyaluronic Fix Spray because it's got hyaluronic acid in it. Just does something to my makeup, makes it look like I'm not wearing as much. It's like a final that I just fell in love with as soon as I started using it, but it is quite like an old product by then. And then I love the All Nighter Setting Spray from Urban Decay and the fact that they came out with an ultra matte one just kind of said to me that this is going to make my makeup last. Anything that's sort of like matte finish tends to last a little bit longer on the skin, so the combination of them together, I loved it. I was scrolling through their website, looking at finishing sprays, and I found this. So this is by Revolution Pro, and it is the Hydra Matte fixing spray. This is a matte fixing spray with hyaluronic acid in it. <laughs> this is what I've been looking for. It's basically what I've been trying to create anyway with those two products and now I have it in one with, which would obviously be a fraction of the price of buying both of those products together. <laughs> so excited about this. I feel like out of everything that I've used, this is about to change my life. It's quite like a hefty spritz, you know, so I'm just going to go ahead and fan it up, baby. This is normally the part where I do a little bit of a sing song. Let's get it started in here. Now that's all done, this is the finished makeup look. So this, like I just said, is the finished makeup look, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um bunch of new products from Makeup Revolution which I know you guys love to see as I did say at the very beginning of this video me and Revolution obviously have a great relationship I do have my palettes with them too so this wasn't necessarily a testing and trying, I knew that these products were going to be amazing, it's what I love about Makeup Revolution but just wanted to show you them in action, show you a few things you can do, possibly introduce you guys to some new products that you love to try like Hello! Really hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, everything that I have used is in the description bar down below for you to have a little look at for yourself, as well as a bunch of other new products that I'm sure Revolution have got that I didn't include in this video. They come out with literally new products every week. So have a little browse, see if anything catches your fancy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are new and notification bells on. Like I said at the beginning of this video, if you still haven't, make sure you are following me on Instagram. Thank you so much again, and I will see you in the next video, which like I said, is going to be a try-on clubbing fashion haul with a bunch of my favourite Fashion Nova stuff, so you guys won't want to miss that. I haven't done one of them in ages, so make sure you subscribe with the bell on, and I'll see you then. Bye guys!